Hi everyone, I'm back. I know it is officially spring 2023 and I haven't been really active for the past year. 2022 was just not the best for me and um, a lot has happened. I just decided to take a break, but I'm back and I promise you guys I will be shooting more videos this summer and um, I miss you guys. I do appreciate you guys still follow me. I also read all the comments, even though a lot of times I don't have time to reply every single one of you guys. But trust me, I know your username. I know who's watching. And thank you very much for supporting. Anyways, uh, it is 2023 again. I wish you guys have a great 2023 and I pray a better year for myself uh, as well. Um, as you guys probably know, there's a lot of political climate has been changed since last year. Living in the Pacific Northwest is very difficult to just even enjoy myself with a gun. Um, so anyways, I'm still going to make the best of it. You know, I'm going to still enjoy the outdoors, still enjoy shooting guns and maybe shoot some videos for you guys to watch. So stay tuned. Let's um, get back to it. First video, 2023. And of course, as you can see, I do have a gun in my hand. It is a foul. And guess where is it from? Israel. Yep, it's a Israeli foul. I don't know uh, if you guys have seen my previous video. I did shot a Embel foul right here. And it is from Brazil. So this is a Brazilian Embel foul. I'm going to link the video down below. So if you haven't checked that out, go ahead and check that out. As you know, this foul is a 308 battle rifle. It is built by ASR Arizona Response Systems. And they built this foul from a part kit. And um, what else? Let me see. They also refinished the gun with this really pretty black durable paint. And I'm kind of liking it. So this foul has a DSA forged receiver and Hebrew engraving. Hope you guys can see that. So it's on the other side. Oops. Safety, fire. It's really pretty. And it also has the original Israeli wood furniture. Take a look. And the stock as well. The barrels from DSA, it is a Israeli profiled 21 inch chrome lined barrel and ARS also installed the muzzle brake. There's a lot of bugs here. Okay. Without further ado, let's go try this baby out. I'm very excited. I'm excited to be back here and
pretty accurate. Second, I got this. All right, it is really foul. It did give me a little bruise, a little kick right there. Not too bad. All the 308 guns, I feel like they're very heavy and they tend to give me a lot of recoil. But this one, maybe, just maybe I'm getting stronger. I've been working out. Um, I feel like I did really good today, especially when I was sitting down and doing the prone position because the gun is way more secured. Uh, one spot so i i think i hit all the target but you know when i'm standing up when i'm kneeling down those are the times i'm just depending on my own arm strength i tend to miss a few but i had a lot of fun shooting the gun today don't know if you guys remember again the embell foul the brazilian embell foul when i shot this gun two years ago it was really really heavy for me and now to be honest let me see they're about the same weight but two years ago this gun gave me a hard time to shoot it was extremely heavy for me and today i feel like again i did really well and i really enjoyed the experience uh, let me know what do you enjoyed from today's video and of course let me know if you have the same gun or thinking to invest in one Comment down below. I will see you next time. Bye.